Since the MTV AP sexting survey came out, I've been hearing from concerned parents and school administrators all over the country. As you know, sexting is slang for sending and receiving sexual content using mobile phones. How do you do it? It's super simple, really. The kids just text each other untoward content, or hmm, they play a modern game of I'll show you mine if you show me yours. They either do it with their cell phones or their digital cameras, and then they upload it. What was never talked about or acknowledged a generation ago is front and center right now. Interestingly, the survey found that 61% of the kids who sent sext messages said they were pressured into it. And if that's not bad enough, 29% said that they sent naked pictures to someone online that they actually didn't know in real life. I know this is a big problem in your very real digital life, and I've got a few suggestions for you. First, I think it's important for you to understand the technology. It may help you to think about how you want to start the conversation with your kids. All of these mobile devices, all the ones we're talking about, are digital. They're little computers. When you send a text message, you can think of it as sending a word processing document that's stored and delivered. The only problem is, you don't know where it's stored, and you don't know who it's ultimately going to be delivered to. Now, the same goes for digital pictures. Camera phones or digital camera, the image is uploadable and downloadable. Once you press send, you can never get it back, no matter what you do, no matter who you know, and no matter how hard you try. These are computer files, and they're as easy to share as music and video and pictures that you might upload on Facebook. You know, I saw a really effective demonstration that one parent did for their 16-year-old daughter, and I'll share it with you. At her 16th uh, Sweet 16 party, they showed a picture of her in the bathtub when she was six months old. Of course, she was naked, and of course, she was mortified. Her father asked her if there were any other pictures that would embarrass her if they were displayed at the party. Hmm, that pretty much ended the issue right there. We don't want to stop anyone from using or exploring new technology, but remember, these tools make permanent records of how you use them. As parents and school administrators, it's up to you to make this simple fact sink in. You're watching Digital Life. Watch Digital Life with Shelley Palmer Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern on WNBC's New York Nonstop or catch it online anytime at ShellyPalmer.com.